Welcome to another video by Karkhana Garage. Before we actually look at the history of JCB, to set things in perspective, it would be safe to say that JCB is to the UK what Caterpillar is to the USA. But unlike Caterpillar, JCB does not have an exponentially wide range of products nor has a sort of global presence that Caterpillar has. Nevertheless, JCB is equally interesting and serves to a more specific market and it also has an impressive technological stance. It would be very interesting to see JCB's journey. Throughout the video, there might be references and comparisons made with Caterpillar. So if you haven't watched that video of Karhana Garage, I recommend you watch it first. You can find the link of the video in the description below or in the i button. Joseph Cyril Bamford was born in the year 1916 in Staffordshire, England to a family which owned an agricultural engineering business called Bamford Limited. After qualifying as an engineer, he joined one of Britain's largest machine tool builders, Alfred Herbert Company. In 1938, he briefly worked at his family firm before being called by the Royal Air Force to serve in the Second World War. In 1944, he returned home and worked at a couple of places before working at his family firm from where he was removed by his uncle who stated, for Joseph there is little future ahead of him. In 1945, Joseph bought a welding set and a small garage in Utoxeter to build a farm trailer using scrap steel and war jeep axles and sold it for £40. He also made a cart which was sold separately for additional £45. Coincidentally, he opened his business on the same day his son Anthony was born. This was the start of JCB as we know today. JCB is basically the initials of his name, Joseph Cyril Bamford. In just about three years, JCB would produce a completely in-house designed Europe's first front end loader. In 1950, they had moved their operations to Rochester, where JCB bought and set up a new factory spreading across 175 acres. In the following year, JCB used yellow as the standard paint on their product. In 1953, Joseph Bamford designed world's first backhoe loader. This design paved a complete new way for JCB as a backhoe loader would become an industry standard and also the identity of JCB. I call it the identity because over the years, globally in many places, a backhoe loader or any mechanical digger or excavator is generally referred as JCB. The extent of this can be realized by knowing that due to the same reason, JCB became part of the Oxford English Dictionary. JCB saw continued success for the next five decades. It expanded its sales globally and also established R&D centers and production facilities internationally. One of the early international markets for JCB was India which it entered in 1979 and has been very fruitful for JCB ever since. Around the same time, JCB formed partnerships and entered Japan, USA and Brazil. Meanwhile, it also broadened its product line and reached one milestone after another courtesy to Joseph Bamford who was not just a great engineer but also a genius marketer. By mid-1980s, JCB's back hope became a bestseller and shortly JCB rolled out its 100,000th backhoe. Subsequently, JCB showed some major technological edge by producing the world's fastest tractor and the world's safest skid steer loader in the early 1990s. On 1st March 2001, Joseph Cyril Bamford, founder and genius behind the success of JCB, passed away. His son, Anthony Paul Bamford, was already the chairman of JCB when his father resigned in 1975. Just a side note, JCB is still owned by the Bamford family. In 2004, JCB rolled out its 500,000th machine. It is remarkable to see JCB's sale figures rising so exponentially considering its limited size and product range. But a more impressive achievement of JCB came after two years in 2006. For this, Let's recall JCB's beginning years. Joseph Bamford started JCB when his uncle removed him from the family firm. He started JCB 
not as a means of rivalry but he was driven by passion of machines this can be attested by his statement focus on what you do best be innovative and reinvest in product development and the latest manufacturing technologies this philosophy is ingrained in jcb and also in his son anthony this pushed jcb to never stop innovating and pursuing to achieve technological advancements by now jcb had been producing numerous products which also included diesel engines anthony bamford had a vision of breaking the world record for land speed attained by a diesel engine so to make this dream a reality a team was formed at jcb the result of which was a fast diesel car powered by two jcb standard 444 engines producing 1500 horsepower in 2006 at bonneville salt flats in utah the car broke the record for the fastest diesel powered car attaining a speed of 350.092 miles per hour which is roughly 563.418 km per hour this record stands till date jcb went on to create new products with more focus on efficiency eco-friendliness and safety as a result jcb has started concentrating on electric machines in 2013 it rolled out its millionth machine in 2017 jcb received an order of 142 million dollars from the us army despite being small in size and having few products of only 300 compared to caterpillar's 4000 jcb has used its technology to make a name for itself caterpillar is a giant who not only relies on its r&d but also acquires small businesses to further expand its product line jcb on the other hand relies solely on its technology and innovative thinking credit must also be given to a good sense of marketing along with customer support which was incorporated into jcb by joseph bamford it is impressive to see how far all of this has got them